they are beloved here yes. in the U.S. and amongst their their friends and their peers and so forth here. They're obviously very comfortable, very confident. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sure they said, hey, you know what? We're going to go hang out with our family and do what we have to do and come on back. And I think it sends a, a positive mes message that Harry and Meghan attended um, the Jubilee events. You know, they had, a, you know, we have reporting that they had a little party for Lilibet that the Queen attended. So she was able to have that one-on-one -on -one time with her great-granddaughter. So I think it sends a powerful statement that they attended the Jubilee um, and, you know, maybe that this is a, a step forward into healing that rift. I think it is. And, you know, I still saw some unification, in my opinion, because if you think about Jubilee's past, I'm, I was looking at what the women were wearing. And if you notice, uh, Kate and Megan in the last Jubilee, they had jewel tones. It was as if that was the memo of the day. And just to look at what they were wearing this time, it seems like there was a memo that was sent out and the family had a, a, a particular look and, and they were right in step with this. <laughs> Megan and Kate were still in step, I think, with that memo of the attire for the day. So that's my little secret thing that I think uh, says that there's a lot more going on behind the scenes than we think. I love that. I think that's so interesting because, you know, they're all they were all in those like pale, neutral tones. And, yes. you know, I wonder, you know, it kind of, you know, blends in with the crowd a little bit more and, you know, was able to kind of let the queen shine. Yes. And that was that was certainly the memo of the day. And if they were so ousted the way folks want them to be, we wouldn't have seen that in Megan. So I think there's a lot more unification that we see. That's my opinion. <laughs> I love that. Was there any other things that you kind of um, hinted at or noticed um, throughout the weekend that maybe we would have missed? Well, you know, the one thing we, we did get to see, there were uh, photos of Megan and Harry uh, in a window with yeah. other family members. And what that tells me is that these two people are still very much part of the family. And that lets me know that the queen said, although, and this is what she said in her statement, although they will be stepping back from the, the duties, that they are still very much part of their loving family. And I think that this is what Harry and Megan are leaning into instead of these public displays of function as far as the family is concerned. They're leaning into that family aspect. And, and you can see that because they were clearly with other members of the family. They're, they're not in the, um, you know, for the, 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 working, the, the working royals, clearly they step back from that, but they're still very much part of this family. And we see that here. There's definitely evidence. There definitely is. And I can't wait to see, you know, and, and uh, they said that they were extending their lease on Frogmore Cottage and things like that. So hopefully they'll be back for more events in the future. I believe they will. Yeah, I think the fact that they're extending that lease lets us know that they'll definitely be back for more events in the future. And the other thing that was that was really great is it seemed like Harry got what he wanted. He mm -hmm. wanted proper security for his family, mm -hmm. and it appears as though he did receive what he had requested. So right. that, that says a lot, too. Definitely. And that could have been another reason why they decided not to attend all these big events was a security issue as well. So we'll never know. But it does seem like you said, like there was a there is definitely unity and, um, you know, they they did their duty and they came and they celebrated and hopefully they had a good time. Yeah. And they'll be back and they're welcome. back. I mean, look at if you look at, for example, look at Harry and Meghan at the last very public event that they had here, which was mm -hmm. the polo match. I mean, they are beloved here yes. in the U.S. and amongst their their friends and their peers and so forth here. They're obviously very comfortable, very confident. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sure they said, hey, you know what? We're going to go hang out with our family and do what we have to do and come on back. And how many of us have to do the same thing for for um, uh, family occasions? You know, whether regardless of what it is, we all put on that brave face. We go hang out with our family members, whether we're getting along with them wholly or not. Yeah. And then we come right on back home. So this is clearly uh, exactly what many of us experience in our own lives today as well. These are real people. 100%. Couldn't have said it any better. Elaine, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time as always. It's my pleasure. Hi everyone, I'm Christina Garibaldi, the host of Us Weekly Celebrity Coverage. Don't forget to hit subscribe for the latest celebrity news, tips, and video. And for much more content, make sure you head on over to usmagazine.com, the official home of Us Weekly Magazine.